good morning everyone today i will explain about images and links in html5 in the previous chapter you have learnt about the previous elements and tags used in html and other properties this chapter explains some more essential elements of html page like images anchor element and links inserting images html already you know hypertext markup language html5 multimedia features allows us to include various graphical elements in our web pages beside text we are displaying graphics like images drawings paintings charts maps or photographs on a web page these elements make the web page more informatic and appealing images can also be used as a navigational tool to help the user to browse through the internet the web browser support various graphic formats the widely used formats are gif png and jpeg formats there are two types of images inline and external images the inline image is displayed when the web page are opened and is inserted with in a line of text whereas the external image is not displayed automatically it is not displayed automatically with other content on the web page instead it is referenced externally and viewed separately by clicking on a link image tag the image tag that is a that is img stands for image tag the image tag is used to embed an image in an html page images are not technically inserted into a web page images are linked to web pages the image tag creates a holding space for the referenced features the image tag is used to add images in an html web page it is an empty tag and requires different attributes to be specified with it these attributes for the image tag tell the browser how to lay out of the web page how to lay out the page so that the text can be fixed property around the image defining the source of an image to add and define the source of an image on a web page the sark attribute is used sark s r c 
This stands for source. Now syntax within angle bracket image sark equal sign double quote sign address or path of the image file double quotes close while specifying the image file one should be well aware of its location that is where the file is stored where the file is stored let us understand it with the following examples if the image file double quote sign pick 1.jpg double quote close lies in the same folder where the referring html file exists then we can refer to the image while by simply writing its name within angle bracket image sar equal sign double quote speak one dot jpg specifying height and breadth of an image the height attributes specify the height of an image it is displaying the height of the image either in the form of the integer or the percent value either it is the form of the integer or otherwise it is the percent value the breadth attribute specify the breadth of an image either in the form of integer or the percent value in the same in the height also like it is also display in the breadth wise or the percent that means it is display in the integer form or in the percent value also align image to align an image to the right or left of the text use the css property that is float that means align to align a value to wherever also it is display either there are two types you can use here either will go in the left or right also example within angle bracket p p stands for paragraph within angle bracket image sark equal sign double quotes image 1 dot jpg double quotes close style equal sign float right breadth 50 pixel that is the height colon sign 50 px the image will appear to the right of the text and then within angle bracket slash sign p that means already you know paragraph is a container tag it is used on and off both tag tips now to align an image to top bottom middle use the css property vertically align when you align the vertically there are three types one is the top another one is the bottom and the another one is the middle alt attribute the alt attribute display text as an alternative to the image sometimes a browser on the user's computer does not display images due to some reason in that case we can display the text to describe the image the only purpose of alt attribute alt attribute this alternative is used to describe the contents of an image file it is generally used in case the user has a text based browser on his computer such as linux it is also proves to be useful when the user is a blind surface
for whom the browser is programmed to read aloud the alternative text instead of displaying the image in many cases people have the image display disabled on the browser on the setting that do not support automatic loading of the images in such cases as well the alt attribute is used the main purpose of alt attribute is to alternative the value for the alt attribute is a text string of up to 1024 characters the value of the alt attribute string that is text it is the 1024 characters enclosed in the quotation marks including spaces or other punctuation symbols thank you